So let's do an example of taking um, the square root of 128. All right, now, um, so I'm going to go over some, I'll do your fractions, I forgot about it. But let's go over taking the square root of 128. There's a couple ways that we mentioned to doing this. The first way was doing prime factorization. All right, if you can't figure out what square numbers go into this, then simply just go ahead and use prime factorization, which we can always just simplify this, right? Since this is even, we know we can divide it by 2, correct? And then we can break this down into 8 times 8, 4 times 2, 4 times 2, 2 times 2, 2 times 2. So therefore, I can rewrite the square root of 128 as its prime factors of 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Thank you very much. All right, so now when we're taking the square root, when we do it prime factorization, remember we want to take out square root, we want to take out pairs of numbers. So we're just going to group out, group two pairs of numbers. Therefore, I have, I can take out one, two, two twos, three twos, and then this square root does not have a pair, so it's going to remain under. Two times two times two is going to be six square root of two. The other way, two times four, thank you. 64, thank you. Yes, is that your? Um, on the test, will we have to do every single one, or like the most we have to do three? Three like? Oh, you mean roots? Yeah. Yeah, you're going to only have to do a cube root, which I'll go over this problem next with the cube root. Now, let's just, um, let's pretend though we had um, the other way to do this, which I think is much easier. If you notice, oh, well, 64 divides into that, right? So I would just rewrite that as 64 times 2. It's the same thing, right? You can do prime factorization. If you can't figure it out, do prime factorization and do this. It works. But I always like to rewrite it with the square number because I know that the square root of 64 is 8. Done. OK? <laughs> All 